Hey. Listen, if this is about the judge's ruling. It's not. I, I, I just wanted to talk to you because I'm, I'm genuinely worried about Anna. Why? What's going on? Well, she came to my house this morning so that I could sign her chemistry exam. She got a D. Oh. Yeah, of course she comes to you because you're the good cop and I get stuck being the bad cop. But I'm not sure it's quite that simple. No? No. Look, how do I put this? Anna really responds when she feels like she's being heard. <laughs> my God. Here we go. And I don't listen to anything she says, right? I mean, why else am I a monster, Dan? Tell me, because I, because I believe in consequences, little discipline. It's not what I'm saying. That is what you're saying. Look, she's a teenage girl, OK? I mean, it's inevitable at some point there's going to be a clash. You know, it's, like, it's perfectly natural for her to be pulling away. She didn't tell me about one bad grade. You make it sound like we're living on different planets. It's not just about the grade. Well, what? What else is there, Dan? What don't I know about? Her boyfriend? I know. The specifics aren't important. Because there are no specifics. You just love to play your little head games. Sue. No, got to get packing. She got pregnant. What? It was a chemical pregnancy. You thought she was pregnant, and you didn't tell me? No, I didn't, because she begged me not to. All right? And I'm only telling you now, because you don't want to seem to acknowledge how disconnected you are from your daughter. You are a manipulative son of a bitch. You know, you wonder why she doesn't talk to you? It might have something to do with you. For instance, the way you're behaving right now.